Christ, wound, what a fucking stink. How long have you... Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. My respects to you. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Hold the lock pick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism back. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock and pick till you feel the right point where the tumble is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start. You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. With real locks, you have to watch out for the Try it a few more times if you like. Thank you. Good luck.
What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Can you tell me... Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Trying to flog me stolen goods, eh? I see what you're up to. You won't get much from me for that. How much do you have in mind?
see now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. I'll be with you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. <laughs> see, I lure you. Complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. <laughs> Listen to everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Boop knocks the blade aside. Ah! No, again! No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it. Well done. Ah, that's it. 
Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ow! Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside. I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump us up. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. for today. A trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike so I don't have time to react. Too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You I'll might have to get have something talent. to eat. I'm starting talent to get hungry. Won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. The Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me.
something with a bite to it. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movement, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target, flying. Jesus Christ, away. just give what up. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast... I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting Don't to get hungry. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. That flew nicely. Practice for a while. No nonsense. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway.
Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rathaus. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. <laughs>